Once upon a time, you see, in a strange land not far away, I met perchance a little bee upon a most unusual day. And when I asked who she was, she told me, my Like my eye, my wife questioned me. Why is no no answer for a bee? My my, she's always in a pretty pickle. My eye, helping someone else's little my eye. My everyone loves my eye. My eye. When the sun's shining. <laughs> How can you give me such a fright, Maya? You're such a sleepyhead. Oh. I've got some news for you. Have you finally found me a field of clover full of delicious nectar? First, I want you to tell me if you've seen Alexander the Great anywhere. No, happily I haven't. That pretentious mouse who thinks he knows everything. You're jealous, Willie. He does know everything. He's the cleverest mouse alive. I don't think it's good to know everything, because if you do, then oh? there's nothing left to be curious about. It's better to be stupid, then you can find out about the world. I've been meaning to ask you for a long time why it is that you're so unfriendly towards Alexander the Great. Why, sometimes I think you really hate the poor mouse. But what why, do you mean, why? why? He's invited mm. us for soup today. And now? I'm washing. Mm. If a mouse invites you to eat soup with him, then the least you could do is brush your teeth before you go. <gasps> Ah. Oh, I'm still tired. Willie, Willie, wait for me. That's just like you. You fly off when you don't even know where the mouse lives. I'll find out. I'll simply follow the smell of that mouse's soup. When we get there, don't begin right away. Flip's also been invited. Flip? Oh, oh, oh. oh well, then I hope there'll be enough soup for us. <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. I hope they're on their way. Mm, it needs just one more kernel of smoked maize. Do you know smoked maize, Flip? <laughs> it gives a special flavour. Smoked maize in a maize soup? To call it smoked is perhaps a bit exaggerated. I gather it when it's ripe and dry it in the sun. I got the recipe from an old aunt of mine. She was the royal cook for Ratowit, king of the rats. <laughs> Looking at all the things you've put into the soup, Alexander, I begin to wonder if it won't be a tiny bit too rich, hmm? It's actually a slimmer's soup, which is something I know a lot about, because I listened to long lectures by Professor in Heidelberg. I lived in a hole in the university auditorium. Oh, Hello, what? we've arrived. Hmm? Don't you remember you invited us all for your maize soup, Alexander? Oops, you've made a mistake, my little friend. It's not maize soup, but maize soup. Let me introduce my best friend, Alexander. He's been looking forward to meeting you. A hearty welcome, Mr. Willie. It gives me great pleasure to welcome mm -hmm. you into my home. How's it possible you know my name? You shouldn't be surprised, Willie. Remember I told you, Alexander the Great knows everything. <laughs> to the table, please. We can start right away. The soup is Ah, ready. it smells wonderful, if it only Let's tastes as good as it smells. Because you've got good table manners. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. I know that was meant for me, but if you don't <laughs> mind, I'll sit next to you anyway. No, I don't mind. Ah. Mm. Hmm? For you, and for you. <laughs> All right, children, I'd say we should start, hmm? Yes, please do, but be careful, because it's still very hot. Bon, bon appétit. Tea. Mm. Mm. Oh, dear, it's empty. Mm. Oh. <laughs> really, 
believe you've forgotten your manners. Oh, don't worry, my dear friend Maya. One can see he enjoyed it. I never thought May soup could be so delicious. But then you probably made it specially well this time, mm -hmm. huh? It's delicious every time. Oh, I've got an idea. When we're finished, we can go and pick some kernels in the maize field. If it's for some more soup, then yes. The maize is nice and ripe at the oh. moment, and you can dry it in the sun. Did you know that, Maya? That's what gives the soup that special flavor. Flip found that out from me, of course. I told him about it just before you arrived. Oh, uh, ah, yes, you did mention something. Well, what do you think of Alexander's suggestion, My me? fingers are far too clumsy for something like that, but you go along, hmm? I'd be happy to give you a lecture on the planting of maize and agriculture in general, if you're interested, will you? I'd prefer to find a few pollen grains for pudding rather than listen to one of his learned lectures. But, Willie, you can't just go off like no, that. Of course I can. That mouse annoys me. Wait, Willie! That's very mean. First you eat a soup and then just go. Oh, look! There's a big maize field just over there. Wonderful maize, A1 quality. We should try some right away. Flip, I'll leave course, it to you to course. get some. First, you must take off the leaves. Yes, that's right. Rip them right off. Well, then, let's see. Children, I really don't know how to describe the sweetness of this kernel. This is definitely the best strain of maize. Taste it. Getting the kernels off the cob is too difficult. Maybe there are some on the ground. I'll go and have a look. I wonder what's behind that fence. I can't remember ever having seen it before. That's funny. Another one. Hey, Flip! Alexander, come quickly! I found something truly amazing! Oh, what's the matter, Maya? Are you quite beside yourself? Tell us what happened. Deep breath in, then slowly out. Otherwise, you might start choking. There's a fence over there, and behind it there are these gigantic vegetables as big as this! Now, now, you must be exaggerating, Maya. I can't believe it either. But I'm telling you, it's true! Tomatoes as big as pumpkins, and potatoes so big you can walk! Can it be there is something that I don't know about? Then I'll have to see it immediately. Yes, do come and see them. Oh, I would never have believed it possible. They are indeed extremely big. Let's see if they taste the same as ordinary vegetables. Mm. <coughs> One feels quite tiny next to them. Look, have you ever seen such an enormous piece? It's overwhelming. How can there be something that I don't know about? This is really interesting. Maya, Flip, come and help me. I can't manage on my own. <laughs> ah, one just popped out. Why, this really is amazing. Look at the size of this pea. If it tastes as good as it looks, it should be delicious. Most probably it's been treated with a special fertilizer. Well, we'll soon see about the taste, won't we? Stop! Stop! Don't eat that green pea! Excuse me? I'm sorry, Mr. Flip, I didn't mean to frighten you, but I had to warn you somehow. Why are you warning us? Can't we eat these peas, Mrs. Ladybird? No, these terrible vegetables are dangerous. Terrible vegetables? <laughs> Don't take this amiss, but how can vegetables be terrible? Believe me, they can. If you eat them, you'll become like my son, Herman. Excuse me for interfering, my dear, but what exactly is wrong with your son, Herman? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's terrible. Terrible vegetables and terrible Herman, too? Perhaps 
perhaps we should try to find out what this is all about. If it upsets you and you'd rather not talk about it, Mrs. Lady. No, no, it's just Herman was such a loving child and so hard-working. <laughs> but ever since he's been eating these vegetables, it's been impossible. Oh, oh, what can that be? Oh, oh. Flip, what is it? That's a Herman. Quick, up his way. I'm the biggest and the best. I'm on the ladybug. Herman, I beg you to stop eating these terrible vegetables. Sorry, Mother, but I can't possibly stop. They taste far too good. <laughs> he looks more like a guinea pig than a ladybird. What on earth is a guinea pig? They are, in fact, distant relatives of mine. People keep them in cages for experiments. If people experiment with guinea pigs, then perhaps they're also experimenting with these vegetables. That's right. They probably used chemicals to make them grow so big. How stupid. They're not only destroying nature, but themselves as well, if they eat this terrible stuff. Please, you seem to know so much. Couldn't you help my Herman? He must simply be persuaded to stop eating these vegetables. Listen to me, Herman. If you don't stop eating these vegetables, you will soon be so fat that you won't even be able to move anymore. Keep your mouth shut, Minnie Mouse. I'm so strong, nobody tells me what to do. Now scram, all of you. Ha! Huh, just because you're big and fat, you think you're also strong. Well, you're wrong. Me strong? Of course I am. I'm the strongest ladybird in the world. Don't you forget that. <laughs> That was unfair, you big bully. But if you really think that you're so superior, then tomorrow we can have a weightlifting competition. <laughs> then I've won before your silly competition's even started. However, a competition will be a bit of a change. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Although I really can't imagine who stops up it. Possibly back out. We've got to come up with something. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got it! It's going to be really difficult, but it should work. I know how we can beat Herman. Oh, that would be wonderful. Quick, tell us how we're going to do it. Basically, it is quite simple. When you eat those vegetables, your body grows big and fat, but the vitamins are destroyed, so you have no stamina. Oh. How interesting. Is that really true, Alexander? Yes. You see, his body won't be able to take the strain. If we take that into consideration, we'll beat him. I don't know. Of course, it does seem logical, but who? Yes, I know what you're getting at, Flip. That's exactly our problem. But just a minute ago, you said you knew how we could beat him. Yes, I do, but we need a challenger. That's the problem. Who will take on Herman? Oh. Sorry, ladies. Count me out. I know I've never mentioned it before, but I have this terrible arthritis in my knees, you see. Well, in any case, the challenger must be younger and stronger than you, Flip. I've got it. I know who can do it. Wait for me. I'll be back in a minute. Willie! Willie, where are you? Willie! Willie? Willie, wake up! Ah, ha, ha. Oh, 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 I was just dreaming that there was someone calling me. <laughs> oh, it's you, Maya. What do you want? I a big favor to ask of you. You must help me. Oh, my, it is the middle of the night. Mm. Wait, wait, uh -huh. don't fall asleep again. You're big and strong, right? Well, if you flatter me like that, I might just be able to do you a favor. What is it you want, then? I was hmm? sure you wouldn't let me down. I'll agree when you tell me what it is you want. To challenge that bumptious Herman to a weightlifting competition. Herman? Who's Herman? And a weightlifting competition? Herman is just a ladybird, but he is quite big. But you can beat him anyway, so don't worry. You see, our friend Alexander the Great has a foolproof plan for you. Oh, really? So it's that pesky mouse again. Sorry, my dear, we'll just forget the favour. Night. Oh, sorry, please? sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. My, uh, I... Mm. Who does that mouse think he is? Mm. 
Uh, no one has come to challenge me yet, so I carry on eating. <laughs> oh, here come my Flip and Alexander. I'm so afraid you might have decided not to come. You might just as well have stayed at home. Why, Maya? What's the matter? To come to the point right away, Mrs. Ladybird, no one is prepared to challenge your son, Herman. Hmm. Although I'm sure my plan would work and he could be cured of eating those chemical vegetables. You mean you won't be able to help me then? Mm, well, where is he, Minnie Mouse? Is he too scared to fight the strongest man in the You're world? You're lucky mm. I'm so small, Herman, or I'd give you such a smack. <gasps> well, tell me, when do we start? Or am I supposed to stand here all day, huh? Slop you. I'm prepared to fight you, do you hear? Pardon me, did I hear correctly? You can't be serious, Maya. You're so small and weak compared to but him. somebody must fight him and beat him, otherwise he'll never stop eating those terrible vegetables. Thank you, Maya. I'll hold thumbs for you. I'll do my very best, I promise you. Ah. Mm. What? You want to challenge me? <laughs> well, then. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm warning you, I'll squash you, little bee, and stop running backwards when I move forward. Stop! Ah. Stop, stop, keep quiet. Stay where you are, you great hulking ladybird. Oh, Willie, I'm so glad you've come. Who are you, if I may ask, huh? Your challenger, that's who. And don't try to duck from my fist, fatty. <laughs> Another silly little honeybee. And this time a drone without a sting. I won the fight already, honeybee. <laughs> Willie, I take my hat off to you. A real friend in me. I have a lot of faith in you, Maya, but do you really think he's strong enough oh, to do yes. it? Good. Then listen carefully while I explain the rules of this competition. Each competitor will carry a large green pea to the fence and back. Whoever gets back here first is the winner. Well, the victory will clearly be mine, Mr. Reverie. It's not as easy as you think, Herman. You'll find it very difficult carrying it back. <laughs> very well, then. Let's start. Hey, Willie, are you sure you're fit enough? <laughs> well... I've just eaten 50 pollen grains. All right, the competition begins. Will the two gentlemen please take their places at the start? Oh, well, let me pick up one of these little things, huh? <laughs> I'll even go so far as to take another one. And even then, <laughs> it'll be a piece of cake. <laughs> hmm. Good luck, Willie. Good luck. Do your best, Willie. Mummy. <sighs> take up your position. On your mark. It's almost as big as me. Go on, Willie, you can, you can do, do it, it Willie. Come on. Mm. <laughs> Our big brother's really moving fast, isn't he, Mummy? <laughs> Oh, this will be the death of me. Oh, oh Willie, get up quickly. Willie, keep going. Don't give up, Willie. Why is guys all of them? Think of something. Huh? Oh! That's what you think. This one's getting a bit heavy. After all, you might only have to carry it. How can a pea be so heavy? Master Willy, Master, you've always put up with him. Do you really think Willy will make it? Don't worry, my dear. Honeybees are well known for their powers of endurance, and your Herman will soon find out how weak he is from his diet of chemical vegetables. I need a little rest. I must go on. Otherwise, he'll catch up with me. Oh, here he is. 
Well, this is a surprise, but I'm sure I could afford to take a little break. Uh, that's what you think. Oh dear, carrying this bee is like carrying a tree. Now he's even I'm reciting poetry. I'm be carrying a big green pea. <laughs> Oh, we'll see about that. Coming up for the final sprint. He, uh, Look, he's overtaken the oh, He's so strong. Willie, Willie, Willie. Come on, come Willie. On, Keep it up. It. I'll do it. I'll do it. I will do it. I'll do it. Oh, oh so you think you could overtake me? Oh, try then. Uh, I can't. I can't, Carol. Uh, I finished. Uh, oh. You see, oh, Herman, you oh, see. Oh, it's oh, all because oh, of those oh, dreadful oh, vegetables. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I hope this will set him thinking. He must realize they're doing him no good. <laughs> you lost the competition, Herman. I but can't I hope understand it. Wrong with you. Then I'll explain. Chemically fertilized vegetables may look good, but they're not nutritious, as you've just found out. All of us here were witness to the fact that you couldn't even carry one green pea to the fence and back. Mm. Mm. Then I take it you understand, hmm? Well, that's what's important. If he keeps away from these vegetables, then before long, he'll be the boy he was before. Oh, that would make me the happiest mother. Thank you very much, all of you. <laughs> He's quite nice after all. Oh, good grief, with all this we've forgotten about Willie. <gasps> oh. 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 Phew, the face. Willie, Willie, oh. the competition is already oh. over. Put it down. Huh? That's good. Oh, well, good night then. <laughs> Are you so tired you have to fall asleep immediately? <laughs> <laughs> Willy won and Herman lost. Willy won and Herman lost. You must admit, Willy, that there's really nothing wrong with our friend Alexander. Uh, and look up there, Maya. That cloud looks just like that stupid mouse. Yes! If you can picture the glasses, it could easily be him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't fly away, Alexander. We'll come again for some more May soup. <laughs> <laughs> An exciting story of the wicked old spider and how Maya saved Clotilda from her clutches. Yes, our brave Maya managed to get her out of the sticky web. Clotilda is a beautiful singer and the spider our ugly friend Fekla with her violin. Don't miss this story about the concert. <laughs>